All right, Heather, what are we making for dinner tonight? <laughs> okay, we are having um, spatchcocked uh, Cornish game hens. And what does spatchcock mean? What does that look like in the oven? Okay, I'll show you. Um, okay, first of all, let me take this off. What it is, is I've just taken the Cornish hens and I split them down their backs. Yeah. And then just laid them out like that, covered them up with, and I seasoned it with salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, and on one side, it's the underside, I put some cayenne pepper, then cover it with a parchment and weigh them down with my cast iron skillet. And um, we'll let that go for about half an hour, 45 minutes, possibly an hour. We'll just have to see. And then the other thing I'm doing is we're, I'm just stir frying some bok choy in a few minutes here. And um, real simple, I'm just going to um, heat some oil up in the wok. I'm going to put in um, some garlic and ginger paste. And this is a, this is a product that that's uh, known by the Indians, but um, it's a real handy thing. Um, that way, it takes a lot of the work out, you know, with making, you know, mincing garlic and ginger and all of that. And um, I'll, you know, end up finishing it with a little mustard oil. And that's about it. You know, I'm gonna keep it simple. And of course, I'll. Uh, make a couple of baked potatoes. Nothing, nothing fancy there, you know. Just some, you know, salt, pepper, butter. That's it. That's gonna be dinner. Yay! Yeah. Now this is Chef Heather, my beloved. <laughs> Say hi to the YouTube world. Hello, YouTube world. <laughs> All right. Signing off. Thank you. <laughs> God bless. Okay, so the wonderful thing about living in an apartment is that you get ovens that are accurate. Hardly accurate. So Just... you have to get something to make them. Here's the spatchcock. Yeah. Split birds. Yummy. Yep, and all of those juices, um, you know, you can keep those and use them for gravy. Here's more of a tour of our lovely home. We're using it. There's a little mobile right here up in the corner. Some effilants. Yeah, I'm turn on the light. Oh. Yeah, turn the switch on right there. <laughs> there. And there's another effilamp. Right there. And there's my computer station. And there's our home entertainment system. Here's our Ikea couch, and this is where Heather's working on her knitting. And these are our house pet plants. And this is our balcony to the outside world. Right here. There we go. Pop this door open, you can see more. There's the outside world. We're in a non-COVID compliant state, hallelujah. Now we make our way here down the hall. This is Carrots the Rabbit and Larry, Larry the Llama. Here's another one of our favorite effilants. Right here we picked up some of our home art. This is our hall. Her restroom, her home office, our master bedroom, and walking through the dark. The man's bathroom, that's mine. Now we come back here, we hang a left. And we make our way. There, 
there's Heather. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. Give me that peace symbol again. Yeah, that's right. She's groovy. This is Heather. And she's going to go into part two of the spatchcock Cornish hens with stir-fried bok choy. Here she's going to prepare the bok choy, 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 choy. All right, Heather, take it over. Yeah. All right. Well, first thing we're going to do is get this pan hot as hot as I can, considering that we're cooking on electric. Believe me, if you have electric, um, it's a challenge to use a wok. Now, um, they work much better on gas, but um, we're going to make it work. So I'm going to wait. Here's our, here's our microwave in our refrigerator. There's some soju, some vino. Here's our freezer. We're giving you a home tour since we're all locked in like we are here in the United States. Okay, going back to the walk. Okay, it's finally starting to smoke. So, um, the big thing that you need to know about cooking with the wok is that you want to get the wok really good and hot. And then we'll go ahead and add in our oil. And um, in the case of the bok choy, we're going to be putting in the stem first. Yeah, careful. Because um, those are thicker and they take a little bit more time to cook. Yummy, yum, 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 yum. Uh, you know what I just realized? I totally forgot to put yeah. this in. I was supposed to put this in first. I'm not used to having people watch me work. So we'll put in some of that ginger and garlic paste. Normally what you would do is you would put that in first. I'm gonna switch on the, the vent. And you'd let that, you'd let that kind of cook first a little bit. Because the ginger and garlic paste um, has some vinegar in it. Ooh, that smells good. And um, the vinegar can be pretty yeah. intense. Mm. So, um... You want me to turn that on low? Well, you're going to want that fan off, dude, so people can hear us. There okay. we go. Because that's going to come up really terrible on the Okay, sound. okay, dude it. <laughs> she called me dude. She called me dude because she's a hip cat. Alright, so now we'll throw the leaves in and we'll let that go for about another 30 seconds or so. We basically just want them to wilt a little bit. What I'm going to do at this point too is I'm going to go ahead and just add just a little bit of this mustard seed oil. Um, I picked this up at Walmart. And, and what does that do, baby? Um, it's kind of a, what, you can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, you can use it as a regular cooking oil. Um, I'm going to put this up. Are you done with or it? Or you can do like I do and use it as a finishing oil. It just gives it a really nice mustard flavor. Yeah. Um, Makes it stronger. But, yeah. Oh. But it, but it uh, comes from India. There's places in India where that is one of the oils that they use on the regular. And... Um, um, the thing is, is that um, you can get the mustard oil that they sell in Indian markets. And yeah, you know, there's a big controversy about it because um, on the label on those, it says for external use only. But um, there's a process. If you look on YouTube, you can find all kind of people who tell you how to do it. But you can do something to like kind of purify the mustard oil so that you can use it for cooking. Or you can just get some mustard yeah. oil like this. Yeah, I just highly recommend that you get it already um, for cooking. Just because it saves a lot of hassle and it doesn't make your neighbors mad. And here's either. all our spices. We got everything from gourmet sabzi in here. Yeah, we, we uh, cook from a lot of different places in the world. Yeah. We cook some stuff that's got, you know, like flavors of Mexican food because we do live in Texas. I mean, hello, you know, and then um, we love 
Asian food of all sorts, and so we've got all kinds of bibs and bobs for that, and brioche buns, those are great. We got those at Walmart. Anyway. That's what we make our kimchi with right there, those are Korean pepper flakes, and then we have some Patel premium chili, and some garam masala, and some asafoetida, some hing there. Timer says about four, little under four minutes, or five, and or a little under five minutes. I'm sorry, but um, I think our chicken is You're probably pull them. done. Our little hens. <laughs> We're pulling out some spatchcock. Say that slowly. Don't ruin it with a dirty mind. Cornish hens. Yeah, it does look nutty. Okay, I'll put this. Um, uh, in case anybody was wondering, this thing hanging down here is a thermometer for our oven because, um, you know, it's one of those wonderful things about living in an apartment. Put it in, in a container and keep it. So and you're going to keep the juices of the birds? Heck yeah. You want to keep all that stuff because there's a lot of flavor in it. And something like this, we can put it in broth. We can make gravy from it later. Um, you know, we got Thanksgiving coming up, so I'll probably just use it in the gravy. Get the pack up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to let that rest. Get the potatoes going. And yes, I am like the biggest cheater ever. I'm using the microwave for my potatoes. That, um, frankly, I just hate to do it in the oven, not because it's a lot of work or anything like that, but the oven is like better if you're going to be doing it, doing baked potatoes for like a lot of people. This is like too, like just, you know, it's just Sean and I, then yeah, microwave way better. Um, you don't have, unless of course you want like the crispy skin, you want a crispy skin, do it in the oven by all means, you know. <laughs> so, I'll just sit around and we'll wait. This spatchcock Cornish hens with stir fried bok choy, and we'll plate that up. Yeah, you could have probably gotten a little brown. We're nuking our baked potatoes, and then we're gonna eat these. So, thank you for watching.